this experiment, we shall investigate deflection of electrons in a magnetic field. For this experiment, we require a special tube, which can be seen at the very center, and some electrical components. On one side, we find that we require a high and low tension supply with a voltmeter and then a meter. The low tension circuit is used to power up a heater to produce electrons and the high tension circuit is used to accelerate a beam of electrons. On the other side we require a second circuit to power up some coils called Helmholtz coils. These two coils are shown in a black circuit, one at the front and the other at the rear. These two coils will produce a magnetic field through the tube. We first switch on the heater and the accelerating voltage so that to produce a beam of electrons in the tube. We need to darken the room to see the effect. We can see that the heater is glowing at the very bottom and there is a blue haze which is the beam of electrons and the haze is coming from the phosphorus gas inside the tube that is excited by the electrons. We switch on the Helmholtz coils to produce the magnetic field through the tube. To see what happens to the beam of electrons, we darken the room and we note that the straight beam transforms itself into a circular beam when the Helmholtz coils are switched on. We try to vary the current flowing through the coils, so we vary the magnetic field produced in order to see the effect on the circular beam. The circular beam of electrons changes its size, so we know that as we change the variable resistor setting, the circular beam increases or decreases in its size. The force on electrons is given by BEV and using circular motion centripetal force Together, we find that the radius of the circular beam is inversely proportional to the magnetic field.